Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play. Today we are jumping into Fay Farm, which is super exciting. Um, this is a life sim farming RPG game where we get to raise animals, farm crops, uh, design our home and everything is pretty exciting. I think everyone is really, uh, just really hyped about this game. Uh, we can change pretty much everything here. This is absolutely crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and make my character real quick. Um, look at this, we can even do left eye, right eye, that's fantastic. We'll do our eyebrow color. Uh, we could, well, we could spend all day just customizing our character, actually. I'm not sure if we can change this later. Um, but, you know, look at all the hairstyles. What one do we want to go for? Um, something like this? Maybe a bit longer, there we go. That seems a... Is that too short? I'm going to go with something... What, what about this one? No. Two, two... What about this one? That seems kind of cool. Is it that one or this one? I'm going to go with this one, actually, I think. Um, okay, facial hair, not today. Oh, we didn't change our hair colour. We'll just go with uh, black, I think. And then no facial hair. We don't want any facial details. But look at this. There's so many different ones to choose from. This is great. Um, pronouns. Awesome. He, him. Voices. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. I wonder if we can change this. I've just noticed we can randomize at the bottom. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, we could go silent. <laughs> what about this? Okay. Um, I think we've done everything we need to do. It doesn't look like we can do our outfit. Um, okay. I think that's okay. Um, yeah, cool. Um, hold to complete. Okay, there we go. We have a new character. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. A message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need, one like no other and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart and with the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed and then I saw it. Welcome to the Zoria. Woo, that's so cool. That was a really fun intro, wasn't it? I felt like I was in like a really, reading a really good poem there or something. Wow, look at this town. I can't wait to explore this. This is beautiful. Can we walk? We can't walk around just yet, though. My controls aren't working. I guess we've got a bit of a storyline to um, catch up on. Oh, so they've got an exclamation mark above their head if we need to talk to them. Merit! Hello there. Uh, oh, a quest already. My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is Mayamori, and you found a message in a bottle. Oh, it's using the um, it's using my Switch profile name. So we don't get to change our name. It has to be the Switch profile name. So that's something to bear in mind. Excellent news. I was the one who threw it in the ocean. I can't believe that worked. Oh, how long ago did you do that? We found we found it. I wonder how, how far away we actually are. I'm Mayor Merritt. Oh, it's a mayor off. <laughs> uh, pl a pleasure to meet you, your soggy self. Are we still wet from the water, I'm guessing? Oh, the house. Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who has tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cozy friends. But we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano. Wow, what else is on this island that has been threatening to go off? There's also a wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk. But we managed to shove them all into the mine. And don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Wow, this really is a, a, a bizarre, magical, enchanted kind of bizarre world. I can't think of a, a good way to describe it. It just 
I'm really excited. Can you tell? <laughs> yep, Azoria is a real paradise. No, don't go. We, uh, well, you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. Okay, so quest details. So, okay, so this is... I The the kind of the message and notification system, very much like Stardew Valley, isn't it? Uh, which is great. It's a great um, kind of mechanic to have and it keeps us on the right path. Moving in, merit available. Message, a bottle was true. A lovely farm is awaiting for you here. All you have to do is claim it. Discover and enter your home and open your welcome package. Okay, excellent. I promise you'll love it here. There we go. We got our map. Awesome. You got the world map. Press minus to view it. Okay. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, wow. It's like, look at the edge, it's like a proper old map and everything. So our homestead is at the very top of the land. I get the feeling we're going to take the mayor's job. <laughs> we are a mayor after all. So we've got the town centre, west of town, east of town, docks. The beach down there I can see underneath the menu. Plains of Plenty, that sounds fun. Uh, a stay a while bay. Okay, so track. Okay, so we're tracking our homestead. So there's our quests on screen. Uh, what's the plus button? Is that our pockets? Okay, what do we got here? Quests, calendar. There's going to be a lot. A dungeon tracker! Uh, settings. Help, I'm stuck. That's good. And quit to title. Okay, so there's a lot to learn here. This is good. Um, wait, have we got... What's this line on the screen? Is it tracking? Oh, it's literally pointing us to the house. Okay. Wow, look at this place. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, there's loads of people here. Hi, hello. Welcome. No doubt come and talk to you all later. Look at this. This is beautiful. I kind of just want to explore. Do we really have to go to our house first? I mean, there'll be plenty of time to explore, actually. Okay, we're heading off. <laughs> wow, look at this. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably a bit loud. I wasn't expecting that. Can we do, <gasps> Can we do it again? Wow. Ooh, a scroll. Investigate. Discovered a recipe, a clay pot. Oh, so we can craft a clay pot. Can we take all this stuff? Oh, we can't do anything with the rocks yet. We probably need a tool. Ooh, interesting. Oh, here we go. Wait, whoa. Nasty thorns. Okay, we should probably do what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, look at this. Cute little house and the weather vane on top. Oh, look, another. Recipe for a field stone fence. Oh no, I fell in. No, oh, we lost our scroll. Did we lose our scroll? I hope we didn't lose our scroll. Um, how do we get out of here? <laughs> Hello, fish. Okay, do we have to go down the waterfall? Okay, I think I lost it. Did I see the scroll come out? I hope we didn't lose it. I'm stuck. How do we get out of here? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, we can jump. Nice. There we go. Whew. Made it to dry land. <laughs> okay, can we check our recipe somehow? Uh, tools and crafting. Wow, there's so much. Nets, rods, crafting stations. Is there something? Construction. Oh, clay pot. Okay. Oh, our fence is still here by the looks. It's a the menu's a tiny bit laggy. Um but it might be because I'm playing on an old switch, like a, an OG original switch. But how cute is that? Like a little fence made up of boulders. And a clay Zelda pot. At least that's what it looks like. Obviously it's not. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. A fully established forest. No doubt we'll be uh, harvesting all of this. Anyway, before we fall in the, the water again, let's uh, let's go. Is this our house? I think this could be our house. Wow, look at this. Look at the sun beams coming through the trees. I think we've got mail as well. There's another scroll. Uh, customization mirror. 
Nice. Okay, let's go inside. Before we do anything we might regret by like falling down a hole or something where we can't escape. Welcome to your new home. We've got, oh, home options. What's home options? It's, it's not time to modify your house settings yet. You'll be able to do this soon. Okay, obviously we're too keen to move our like sleeping bag. Okay, let's have a look at our um, welcome package. You got a backpack inventory. You can press up to open your backpack and view or use items you collect along your journey. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. These menus look amazing. Our tools along here. Do we, have we automatically got these? Do they break? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Breaks down minerals. Okay. So we might already have these tools. Oh, an outfit. I'm really regretting not pre-ordering this because there was a... Pre-order bonus, and I, I meant to do it yesterday, I just totally forgot. What have we got here? A stack of letters or something? Can't do anything with it. Um, okay, so, oh, moving in, return to Merit. Okay, so our quest is now just to head back to the mayor, um, which means going through town. Oh, hello. I was just coming to see you. Azoria's uh, the better for having you. Okay, so we've got different options as well. Um, redeem quest. Moving in. New quest available. So what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live. Assuming you're okay with magical thorns and sus uh, suspicious weather patterns. Why is it suspicious? Uh, why don't you try giving your home its own name? Oh. Give it that special memory touch. I kind of just like Homesteed. Can we change it later? I'm rubbish at making th names. We're just going to call it our Homesteed. Don't tell me what you named it. That's just between you and your farm. Oh, is it like Farm Homesteed? We probably should have changed the name of it then. Speaking of farm, the house comes with one right here. This is the farm. Yes, okay. It's seen better days and will require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Oh, so this is all ours. Is that like, what's this little building here then? Is that our garden shed? Uh, besides, it shouldn't take you too long to tidy up the place. Not with your own set of brand new tools. You got a set of brand new tools. Oh, look how cute they are. Using your tools is easy. Go up to objects and press A. The right tool for the right job will be used automatically. Uh, just make sure you keep an eye on your energy. <laughs> With those begin- oh, there are only beginner tools, I see. So we do get to the kind of upgrade them, I guess, later on. Um, so that, does that mean they don't do as much, or does that mean they don't last very long? You can get all kinds of things done, and you can- oh, <laughs> I should really read on before I start talking. And you can upgrade them later at Cinder's Smithy by the docks to tackle the tougher jobs. Okay, so it looks like they don't do all of the things, like chop everything at, at the start. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting uh, arugula from the land around your home and keep all the materials you can gather. Okay, so we need to harvest plants, pick up stones, pick up beech logs, and pick up arugula. I hope I'm... arugula. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So basically, we just got to tidy up our little area here then. Oh, so it just brings out the tool automatically. There we go. Nice. This is good. So we don't have to keep swapping tools. That's brilliant. Oh, I chopped a tree. Don't want to chop a tree. And it automatically picks them up as well, which is good. Oh, stop hitting the tree. Maybe we should just kind of clear a path here. Okay, the pickaxes take a little while to get through the rocks. Oh, we've got to keep an eye on our energy. Did the mayor say how we recoup our energy? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's try not to hit too much. We'll get one more rock. I think that's all we need. This seems to be taking a lot of energy. Wait, is this our, is this our barn as well? It's got a lock on it. 
Oh, the thorns do not want us to go up the mountain. Oh, we've got a well. <gasps> what are these? Huckleberries. We can do it pretty quickly. Oh, clay and silt. What do we use silt for? Can we build things? I love the fact it changes tool for you. That's so useful. Okay, so these are fibers, these things. Um. Oh, an ag... A, rug a rugula or a rugula? I've never heard that word before. Is it like a weed? I think it might be weed. As in weeds. <laughs> As in things that we don't want growing near our crops. What is that? Oh, <laughs> what are you? Oh, the axe isn't strong enough to upgrade. Okay, we don't want to chop a tree just yet anyway. Wow, a little... F that frog thing was so cute. I want to catch the frog. Where did it go? Can we catch the frog? There's a butterfly as well. Okay, return to... Uh, Merit. Hey, Merit. Hello, Azori is the better for having you. Um... Let's just chat to Maya Moret. Happy to have you around. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. Okay, let's do a quest then. Tidying up. Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself, but it's as easy as falling down. So you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your alamank. Alamanic. Another word I haven't really heard of. Um, I feel like that's just kind of like a, an encyclopedia of... Uh, Recipes and tools and and stuff. Uh, Alm Anik. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up how to pronounce that word. It's like a guide. Oh, there we go. It's like a guidebook to Azoria that you you fill in. Isn't it fun? Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. Okay. Uh, now that you have a house, you can decorate it however you like. Start with a simple but handy piece of furniture around. Wooden, a uh, woven stool. Craft and place around wo woven stool inside your home. Okay, how do we craft? Um, do we just check our thing? So tools and crafting. Okay, here we go. So these, oh, these are our tools. Nice. Wow, there's a lot of tools. Look at how much they can be upgraded. Um, oh, we've got a cooking fire. Nice. Okay, so this is the wrong thing. Is there a furniture second section? Construction. Oh, look how cute that is. Round wo woven. It's get that word's getting me every time. Stool. Oh, so we only need plant fibers. Okay, so how do we craft it then? Uh, more info. Uh, small and squishy spherical seating. Okay, so we've got the we've got everything we need. We just got to figure out how to craft it. Do we have a crafting station in our house? I. Hmm. I guess there's a lot of discovery here. Uh, craft and place. Okay, let's see. Let's how do we do this? This is our map. Um. Can we just do it from our menu? Um, like the way the tools are separate from our pockets as well. So this is what we need. So select, move, no, we don't want to move it. Inventory, dungeon tracker. 
It doesn't say how you craft it, or did I miss that? Raw materials. Ooh, there's the mirror, and we've got the bed as well. We've already got lots of stuff. Um, I've got to get rid of all the notifications. <laughs> oh, here's another stool. A rustic stool. How do we craft it, though? Okay, maybe there's a crafting station outside or something. Because we read something earlier about crafting station, didn't we? Um... Help us. Hello. Have we seen anywhere that can look like we can craft it? I don't want to get stuck right at the start. Is this a crafting thing? Um, activation of crimes. Okay, so that's something we can use later. Can't get in there yet. Uh, wow, we've got a, a big letter from uh, the, just from, oh, this is from Merit, actually. But we pretty much know what that's going to say. Do we do it by the fire? How do we craft something? <laughs> Maybe we have to craft a crafting bench? Quests. Um... Let's see, there must be, I must be doing something wrong here. Can't believe I'm stuck already. We've got enough, enough plant fibers, haven't we? Uh -huh. Hi. Uh, thanks again for coming to Azoria. Uh, try building something indoors, it's easier than you think. Um, okay, so we have to do it inside then. So, we were right, but how do we do it? Oh, I see. There's a little icon. Oh, you have to press down. That's so tricky. <laughs> it didn't tell us. Where do we want this thing? I love the way we can craft it and like instantly place it. Let's put it in the corner. Oh, look at it. Um, and Oh, we can plant another one, but we haven't got enough. Wow, we can craft it pretty instantly and just place it. That's really cool. Okay, so how do we exit this then? Um, okay, so we've got wallpapers as well. Nice. Just chilling, facing the wall. Is this how we get our energy back? Or is that kind of like the timer for the day, maybe? So we've got health and energy, or stamina. It's kind of cool. Hey, we figured it out eventually. Hello, thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. Hello there. Wait, do we not have to? Oh yeah, there we go. Redeem request. Uh, request, sorry. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, Memory. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning. So don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what uh, you should build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancy equipment later. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around here. But there's mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Okay, so the next thing is to do... So it's just a bunch of requests, mate. Uh, I keep calling them re requests, but quests. Craft and place a cooking fire and then cook something using the cooking fire. Okay. So can't we just use this fire? Okay, so how do we do it outside? Um... Oh, so the build icon at the bottom of the screen only comes up in the areas where you can place items. So in this little forest area here, 
we can actually do one. But on the steps, for example, we can't. Um, so we can't place any items here, it looks like. At least at the moment. Nor on the what looks like a main path. This, oh, look, we found another scroll. A rug. Okay, can we plant? Oh, we can't do it over there. I thought this would be a good place, but maybe not under a tree then. Let's just do it. We can. I'm sure we can move it later. Let's just do it here. Um. Okay, build catalog. And it automatically comes up with the one that we're doing for the quest, which is pretty useful. Um, rotate item. I guess that's a good good a place as any. Okay, there we go. We've already we crafted it because we collected some materials earlier. How do we light it? Uh, oh, there we go. So this gives us energy. So we're going to have to cook food as well. So let's cook one of these. Prepare just one. Oh, nice. It's cooking. We can hear it. Do we have to wait for it to go around? There we go. Collect all. So we just do one. Did, that, did our bar increase? Let's try another one. Let's cook three. Oh, it does all... Oh, is it, do, it might still be doing one at a time. So, toasty, warm greens. Healthy and a little crunchy. There we go. So, it's doing one at a time. So, I'm just watching the bar now to see if that goes up. But it might only go up when we collect it. So... By cooking it, it triples the energy value by the looks. There we go. Now we can collect all of them. Oh, we haven't. Maybe we haven't eaten them yet. Um, let's get our pockets open. Here we go. Oh, we can sell them as well. How do we eat them? Oh, I love the fact that we can jump. It's a little bit strange. I feel like I'm in space. Um, but I love being able to jump in games. Even if you're just kind of walking around a, like a, an area where you don't need to jump. It's nice to be able to jump. Uh, the joy of farm land, uh, farmyard cooking. Let me see what you've cooked. Bravo, you see. With a cooking fire, you can roast and toast your heart's to your heart's content. Home-cooked food always tastes better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw. And selling for more money at the market, too. Ooh, I'm excited to go to the market. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know. Get jazzy with it. I know what you're thinking, Mayamori. When is Merit going to teach me about farming? Right now, let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your store. Oh, it is a storage shed. Uh, you have a storage shed, by the way. Uh, go get the materials from a storage shed, then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Okay, but how do we eat the stuff? How do we eat what we've... Uh... Oh, glitch. How do we eat what we've... Oh, there we go. Consume. So we had to talk to Merit first. Ah, oh, there we go. So we can get our energy all the way back to the top with the food that we've cooked if we want. Let's check out the storage shed. Um, so we, we've got... Some silt. Transfer. Do we need to take all of this? Let's just take three. And we'll take... Actually, do you know what? We'll take it all out. We can put it back later, can't we? After we've done. And we'll take out the beech wood as well. So we've got nothing in our storage shed now. Um, craft and place a basic soil bed. Okay, where do we want to put a nice little patch here somewhere? Oh, look how cool this is. Um, I'm going to try and put it right up against here, I think. How many do we need to do? We need to do three. Okay. That's so cool. 
And then we just need to exit this and then... Oh, we can reclaim it as well. Okay, press A to plant turnip seeds. Um, I love the way it... You don't have to keep switching tools. That's a really good benefit of this game, it seems. It, it kind of knows where you're at and what you're doing. And it pulls out the things that you need at the time. So you don't have to keep getting stuff out of your pockets. There we go. We did it. And then we can just... Put our bag away. Ah, oh, cute. We have to move this rock later on. But look, a windmill. How cool is that? Okay, I just realized we could have fallen off this wall here. Um, anyway, let's do our space jump all the way up to Merit. Hey. Hi there. Hello. Azoria, it's better for having you. From humble beginnings, redeemed. Uh, wonderful job, Mayamori. Soon your friends will be... Uh, sprouting with ground grown goodness say that three times fast no thank you i already struggle enough as it is with saying words uh just don't forget to water your seeds they won't grow unless you uh they're watered though if it rains you can skip a day i hope you keep tending to your fields as farmers always say don't leave them alone have fun uh, you've done so much to improve your farm already i bet you aren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean Oh, you should meet your neighbours. Word has probably already spread that you're here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie the Marina. He probably uh, near his home in Stalewell Bay. He, uh, he'll have a fish tail or two to share. Okay, so we're going to start going to meet the town folks. I'm just going to water these vegetables. I think, can we water them already? It should, by the way things are going, it should pull our watering can out automatically, which is good. There we go. That's so useful. Well done to the developers for that. That is really good. Uh, but okay, so there we go. A little introduction to Fay Farm as our journey in Azoria and Moriland um, begins. I think that's a good place to stop it there for now. But in the next episode, we'll definitely go and meet some town folks and meet some people around uh, this strange but beautiful world um, where we can space jump. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Are you playing this? Um, what are your thoughts on this? Have you discovered any secrets around your farm yet? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the channel members. I hope you all enjoyed it. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.